Hello and welcome to Omron's quick tip video series. Okay, at this point we've correct, uh, successfully created a connection to a database. We use the ladder connect instructions to actually create the connection. We use the map to tell us which table to go to and how to map the fields to our variables in our NJ. Now we actually want to send data to the database. That's done using a DB insert. Uh, basically means append data. Um, the first variable, of course, was the output from the connect. It's just a connection number. This is our variable of the map we want, of uh, the variable we want to send. In this case, of course, it's, uh, it's a custom data type, which we selected down, which we created down here under data types. And that's really all you need to know about insert, except that the output of an insert only turns on if the insert was successful. Uh, a couple of things can happen. When we set up our database service, if the connect, if the insert is not successful in the connection service, we could have told it to go to uh, the SD memory card instead. It would have sent the entire SQL command uh, to the memory card. The other thing it can do is run an internal buffer. It can, it will hold on to that buffer. It's about 2 meg. It'll hold on to that data till the connection's reestablished, and then you can tell it to automatically resend, or you can set it up so that you can manually tell it when to resend. The busy, straightforward shows the error. There's an error ID, which you can look up in the manual. There's also a status code, which you can read in the manual. What's more interesting is select instruction. Select instruction allows us to read data out of the SQL Server. And of course, if we do something like, uh, you know, where barcode starts with B, we could get more than one record. So what the select uh, instruction allows us to do is to create a variable which is actually an array, which you can see up here. Again, it's still a custom data type, but it's specified as an array. That way, if more than one record comes back, it fills this array up with data for us. In this case, the timeout makes a bit more sense. If you did something crazy like select barcode that starts with A and every barcode in the database starts with A, this could take a really long time to get all the answers. In this case, I specified two seconds. Time, pound sign, 2S means two seconds. Now, the where is kind of interesting. We could have used a single quote, much like this, and said data1 equals 1. So the field data1 equals 1. Of course, this field would be numeric. Or we could have spec specified a variable, as I did, and therefore I have to tell the variable the uh, select statement, basically. A couple of things that come in handy. Uh, barcode like is a normal uh, SQL statement. The dollar sign will not be so familiar. The dollar sign means that the following quote is literal and not the end of the text string for this NJ command. So what this really means is barcode like quote B percent quote. Um, the second one uh, is the barcode has to equal quote B O and uh, exclamation or huh, quotation mark. In this case, since there's just one set of quotation marks, the one is actually a numeric number. Um, the outputs work the same. The done only turns on if if the uh, instruction actually works. There is a counter which tells you how many uh, records were found 
But there's also a received counter, which tells you how many records you have. Um, your array may not have been big enough, in which case it, it would show up as a smaller number. The other two instructions are delete and update. Update is if you want to overwrite a record, in which case um, you have to be pretty sure your where statement is correct, that you're pointing at the right record. Uh, the other one is delete. You can delete a record.